Hi folks, we're going to take a look at a few examples of uh, graphing quadratic functions using the step pattern. Okay, so let's start by uh, taking a look at our basic quadratic function, x squared. And the way the step pattern works is you start at the vertex and you increase x by 1 at every step. Okay, and this pattern that I'm going to write will be how the y values change as x goes up by 1. So the first time, y is going to go up by 1 unit, then it's going to go up by 3 units, then it's going to go up by 5 units, and so on and so forth, all the odd numbers. Okay, uh, and now the way we use it is the a values, so let's say in this case here, if I take the example 2 times x minus 3 squared, say minus 5, okay, the a value now is 2, it will multiply each term in this step pattern to give us the step pattern for this equation. Okay, so the first thing we do is identify the vertex, because that's going to be our starting point. So here the vertex is 3, negative 5. Okay, we uh, see that the function or the problem will be opening upwards, okay, because the a value is positive. And now let's get our step pattern. So we take 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and we multiply each term by 2. So the step pattern for this function will be 2, 6, 10, and so on. Okay, and now we can quickly draw the graph. Let's set our scale. So we'll make them go up by one unit, both x and y. We're going to plot the vertex. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and now we use our step pattern. So x goes up by 1, y will go up by 2 units. The next time x goes up by 1, the y value goes up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units. And I think that's all we'll be able to fit on this graph. Okay, and a the way to get the other side of the parabola to, is to use the symmetry. So here we have our axis of symmetry, so each of these points will have an associated point on the other side of the axis of symmetry. So we've got one there, and we've got another one there. And now that we have these points, we can draw ourselves uh, as good a parabola as we can. Okay, so let me take my time here, try to draw a decent parabola. Okay, there's one side, and now go and draw it on the other side. Okay, and there you have it. A much quicker way of drawing the parabola without having to um, either fill out a table of values which with uh, selected x values or without having to transform points from the parent function y equals x squared. Okay, let's take a look at another example here. So we'll get rid of this one. And let's take a look at uh, y equals negative 3, uh, x plus 2 squared, uh, say plus 7. Okay, so here our vertex, first of all, is negative 2, 7. Okay, and here we see that it opens down. Okay, so now let's determine our step pattern. So remember our original step pattern is 1, 3, 5, and so forth. So here it's going to be negative 3 times 1, negative 3. Negative 3 times 3, negative 9. Negative 3 times 5, negative 15. Okay, and so on. But I don't think we'll need more than that. So let's put a scale on our graph, say 1 and 1. Let's plot our uh, vertex, so negative 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And now, because the parabola opens down, I'm going to be going downwards as I use my step pattern. So as x goes up by 1, y is going to go down by 1, 2, 3. Okay, as x goes up by 1, y is going to go down by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. And now we draw our associated points on the other side of the axis of symmetry. So we've got one here, and we've got one there. Okay, and now we can draw our parabola, and not surprisingly, it'll be even thinner than the other one we drew before. Okay, one side, and... The nicest, but I guess this will take getting used to. Okay, and there we have it. Let's do one last example. Okay, let's now take something with uh, 
an a value less than 1. So let's say we have 0 0.5 and x uh, minus 3 squared. Let's say we have this function here. So first of all, the vertex, well, will be 3. Okay, and we don't see any k value here, so that must mean that the k value is equal to 0. Okay, so our vertex is on the x-axis. Okay, and here we see that it, it opens upward. Okay, and let's get our step pattern. So remember, 1, 3, 5, 7, and so forth. So here our step pattern will be, well, 0 0.5 times 1, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times 3, 1.5. Times 5, 2.5, 3.5, and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's now set up our graph. 1 and 1 are uh, vertex at 2, 3, 0. And now as x goes up by 1, y goes up by half. 1 again, 1 and a half. Go up by 1 again, goes up by 1, 2 and a half. Let's do one more. Half, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now we draw our associated points on the other side of the axis of symmetry. Okay, and not surprisingly, this is wider than the other problems we saw because the A value is closer to zero. Okay. There's one side, and then let's do the other side. Okay, so again, this allows us to draw our graph quite accurately, quite quickly, without having to transform points or set up a table of values as we might have done in the past. Okay, that's it for now.